Hello, you're with Colin and you're watching Grad School TV. This week is Corporate Finance Module 4 and the subject of this exercise is a sensitivity analysis based on our net present value calculations. It is a three-year project and it has an initial outlay of $40,000. It has a discount rate of 10% and then it has, then we, or what we are presented with is a table here of variables which will impact our cash flows. So we have selling price, variable cost, and annual sales. Now, why do we have these? Why do we have a selling price and variable cost? Well, because we need to calculate our margin. Now, from our accounting days, we know that selling price or revenue less variable costs equals the contribution margin, and in this case, it's per unit. So let's just say that everything that we calculate, first of all, is based on expected figures, not pessimistic and not optimistic. Let's just say everything is expected. First of all, our margin is 70 less 60, which is $10. Then to ca calculate our cash flow from annual sales, we then have to multiply annual sales by the margin, which brings us to $20,000. So that gives us our annual cash flows for this particular project. Now from that, we can actually create our net present value calculation. Moving right over to here, we have at year zero, we have our initial outlay, which is $40,000. And here we have our cash inflows. Now this cell here is represented by this cell here, which is F14. And note the dollar symbol there, which means that I can just fill down and that doesn't change those figures because it keeps referring to F14. Cool. Now. Uh, given the fact that we we know how to we know how to calculate net present value, so I'm not going to do this manually. I'm going to use the Excel function. I think we I think we're good enough for that now. So the net present value function will give us the rate here, which is 10%, the figures, which are these three, and the initial investment. So if everything goes as planned, we're going to end up with a net present value of $9,737. So we can actually enter that into our table up here where we do our sensitivity analysis. So under normal circumstances we have $9,737. I'm just going to enter that in as an absolute figure for now. I know you diehard Excel people will probably think of doing something else but let's just keep it simple for the moment. Now that's actually not going to change because that's what we need to compare against. So we can actually just fill that number straight down. So now what we need to do is look at the pessimistic side followed by the optimistic side and then over here what we do is we compare the difference between the optimistic and the pessimistic and we see where the greatest variance is. But the trick is we only want to change one variable at a time. So over here let's go to our margin. Let's say that we changed our selling price from 70 to 63. We'll just move that over there. What that does is it gives us a new margin of $3 which gives us a cash flow of 6,000, which changes these figures over here and gives us a net present value of minus $25,079. Minus $25,079. Oops. Okay. So let's come back to our margin calculation and let's just put everything back to the way it was because remember, for the sensitivity analysis, we're only changing one variable at a time. Now, okay, so let's change in our margin, let's change not the selling price, but the variable cost. So let's move that one over to there. Now we have a margin of $7, which brings us to cash flow of 14,000. These figures here change accordingly. And our net present value calculation changes to minus $5,184. Minus $5,184. Okay, coming back here. Let's just reset everything. Okay, everything's back to the way it was. What's the next thing that we can change? Well, we can change our annual sales. That is going to change not the margin, but the cash flow. So what I need to do is actually change the cash flow calculation and move that to the pessimistic side. So all of the other variables stay the same. In other words, Selling price remains the same at expected. Variable cost stays as expected. The only thing that changes is annual sales to the pessimistic side, which gives us a cash flow of $17,000. Goes straight into this formula here, and we end up with a net present value of 
2,276. So that gives us our pessimistic view. All right, okay, let's go back to the originals here. What did I just change? Okay, just move that back to 2,000. Everything's back the way it was, and you can see our net present value calculation is back to the original 9,737, which is represented over here as well. Cool, let's go to the optimistic side. Let's change our margin and say, okay, we can sell for $77. That gives us bigger cash flows, gives us a net present value here of 44,553 on the optimistic side if we change our selling price. So 44,553. Now, here we go. Let's change this back. Everything's back to the way it was. Let's change the variable cost to the optimistic side, which means a reduction in the number because it's more favorable if you have less cost. So let's change that to that cell there. Gives us a net present value calculation of 24,658. 24,658. Okay, let's come back here, put everything back the way it was. Now let's change the annual sales figure. What will that change? doesn't change the margin, but it does change the cash flow. So let's alter this one and just shift him over there. Cool, that gives us a cash flow of $23,000 and a net present value of 17,198. $17,198. All right, so that fills in the table of all of our pessimistic and optimistic net present value projections. Now what we need to do is figure out which one of these variables here is most sensitive to change. And you can see here that this number is substantially larger than this number and this number, which means that in this particular project, the selling price per unit is the most sensitive. In other words, our analysis has proved that we need to be really careful with the selling price of this particular product, which I guess in most cases is always going to be the case because the selling price is, well, pretty important, I would have thought. So I hope this has helped you to understand the sensitivity analysis concept because I've certainly found it helpful explaining it back to myself. I hope you've enjoyed this video. You've been watching Grad School TV.